Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so basically this video is just talking about the second part of everything that we mentioned in the last one. So the first video was titled growth versus retention. And I had a lot of common questions, I think in the thumbnail, like why isn't my hair growing? What do you do to make your hair grow? How can I make it grow faster? And so in that video, we basically address the difference between growth versus retention and what that looks like, okay? So if you have not watched that video, please go back and watch that because I promise this will make a lot more sense if you've already watched that, okay? Now in this video, we're actually gonna be talking about different tips and things that you may want to try or look into to actually help with both growth and retention. And if I have time, I might even include a couple of things that you can do to actually be able to tell the difference of which is what and all that, okay? So let's jump right in. Now, um, as we said last time, nine times out of 10, the culprit is actually going to be retention okay you're not actually keeping the length that's coming out of your scalp uh, but let's touch on growth for just a second um, now the big thing to remember is that growth primarily is ex uh, internal but occasionally there can be a few external things that can affect it so let's kind of um, just primarily focus on internal factors right now okay so big big thing always no matter what it is always important to drink enough water I cannot stress that enough just for your overall health maybe go pause this video and get a cup of water and come back uh, um, if you're not drinking enough water your body is going to pull it from whatever source that it deems not necessary for survival your body your heart your lungs it don't care if your skin's flaking your hair is brittle your nails brittle it, it doesn't care about that it's trying to help you survive so if you're not giving your body enough water to sustain all of your systems because yes your hair skin and nails are your integumentary system um, it's an organ if you're not giving your body enough water to maintain all of the symptoms uh, symptoms systems okay systems then your body is going to give water to the ones it deems the most necessary and pull water from the ones that are not necessary okay um usually your hair skin and nails will be the first thing <coughs> And there's nothing wrong with that because otherwise how would you continue to function but to combat that drinking more water in general you should be getting about two-thirds of your weight in ounces okay um so don't judge me but i'm 100 pounds so about two-thirds of 100 is 60 ish 65 66 67 ounces um so just over eight cups of water okay eight ounces one cup if you need that little uh translation um, so drinking more water as well as number two would be your nutrition. You really want to make sure nutritionally you're putting things into your body that are going to actually support hair growth. So, um, now I don't know everything right off hand, but I will do my best to put a list in the description box of different vitamins, um, that are helpful. And then you can kind of do some of the legwork as far as which foods contain this vitamin to help with hair growth. Um, now some people end up requiring supplements. So maybe things like biotin or other vitamin pills that you can take um, that are over the counter nothing like prescription but just things that you can take that may help this out um, so that's really important now when it comes to internally as well sometimes it is necessary to go see a dermatologist or someone else to make sure that you're not having any type of scalp concerns or scalp conditions stemming from something internal that could be preventing your hair from growing properly or anything like that okay so i'm not a physician i'm not a doctor so you may need to go talk to somebody if you really feel like there's something else going on but like i said growth that's the hair actually emerging from your scalp the rate at which it's doing it if it is at all nine times out of ten is more about something internal going on so once you check your overall nutrition health that kind of thing then you might want to seek extra help from the doctor dermatologist whoever to make sure your scalp is as healthy as it can be so that you can grow your hair okay so um now let's talk about retention okay so retention is on the opposite side of the spectrum so it is a good 90 to 95 percent of external factors such as you know how often are you combing brushing detangling your hair are you doing it when your hair is dry right because that's a recipe for disaster and breakage and your ends falling off and your roots breaking and all these negative things that are going to keep you from being able to actually keep the length that you're gaining okay um so comb your hair or detangle your hair when it is damp or wet okay uh second thing would be tying your hair up at night 
because if your hair is rustling and moving on your pillow there's a good chance that it can become intermingled and tangled at the roots or even further down okay this will happen even if you have a satin pillowcase I'm telling you, it'll happen regardless. So the thing that you can do to stop that is to make sure you're tying it down. Even if you're just tying it at the roots, it'll help minimize that and it'll be a lot easier to detangle and decrease your chances of breakage. Um, big one, do not, if possible, over process your hair. That is with a relaxer, um, that is with any type of chemical, whether it's color, whatever you've got going on okay do not over process your hair and if you don't feel comfortable please 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 go to someone who knows what they're doing um i'm not just saying that because i'm in cosmetology school now <laughs> like if you don't know for sure have somebody help you i mean even when i lighten my ends i want to say ends i lighten the whole thing with my friend Brittany. hey girl um we lighten the whole thing it's just grown out but even then we went row by row and i made sure i had her to help me make sure everything was rinsed out of my hair and due to that, I have not suffered any breakage. You know, I've gone through the normal trims on my ends as the years have passed, but you know, it was not anything where I lost a bunch of hair because I had somebody to help me to make sure I rinsed all the product out because that can also be a culprit of breakage when you're getting your hair processed is not rinsing everything out. Or like with the relaxer, for example, or with color, if you are applying that chemical to hair that's already been chemically processed, like combing it through the ends, if that hair has already been lifted or colored, or even relax, you're gonna end up with some breakage long-term if you continue that process over and over, okay? Nothing wrong with wanting to get your hair straight, but once the hair has been already chemically relaxed, there's really nothing else you're doing for it. It's not gonna get any straighter, okay? So let's just put that out there. Um, so don't over-process process your hair if possible, okay? I think that's number three we're at right now. Number four for your routine would be, um, styling okay let's not over style over retwist over manipulate our hair okay because your hair only has so much strength it's like a fine balance between protein and moisture that we try to put in the hair to keep it strong enough but it can only withstand so much if you're constantly putting in these really tight styles um, and leaving them in for very long periods of time i think every style has about a recommended length of when you should keep it in um, and usually that length is shorter the less that you can do to actually maintain your hair underneath, okay? So that's really important. Um, if this is a style where you cannot reach your scalp at all, if you can't moisturize, if you can't do anything like that, it's probably not meant to be left in for a long time, okay? So just kind of use your best judgment with that. Um, so yeah, like I said, don't make them too tight. Don't leave them in too long. And also give your hair a break in between. I know we love our sew-ins, our crochet braids, our this, our that. Um, even when I was a loose natural, I would wear two strand twists and little mini braids all the time. But in between those styles, I usually gave my hair at least a two week break, one and a half to two weeks where I just wore it out. I would wash it, condition it, put it in some little twist out or whatever I wanted to do. And I gave it a break. Okay. Because even protective, protective styles can be damaging if they're done too frequently. Okay. So please, 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 you know, give your hair a break. Um, those are really the big things that I can think of. I mean, so to kind of recap internally, water up your water intake, up your vitamin intake and see a physician, um, after that, if you're really just struggling or having any special scalp concerns, okay? When it comes to the retention side of things, you wanna make sure number one, that you only detangle your hair when it's wet or damp. Number two, we wanna make sure that you are, and excuse me if I go over order, but you wanna make sure that you're not over styling um, or having them too tight. We wanna make sure you're not over processing your hair with any type of chemical, um, doing it too frequently. We want to make sure that you're giving your hair a break in between these long-term styles. And there was one more thing, and I'm trying to see what it was, um, with your retention, uh, tie your hair up at night, just so it's not getting all wrapped up and tied up together, guys. Um, and just give your hair a break. I mean, that's really the only thing I can think of. That's what's helped me grow my hair out multiple times, whether it was locked or I had loose hair, okay? It's, it's not rocket science. A lot of it is just leaving your hair alone and giving it a break, okay, guys? So... Ooh, I think I got all that under 10 minutes, so I'm not going to go too long. But thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Did I miss anything for this list? P please feel free. You know I love conversation in the comments. Let me know what do you think has been a bigger issue for you in the past? Have you ever had it? And what are some tips you recommend to help with growth or retention? Okay, um, so once again, guys, thank you. And feel free to like these videos, subscribe, comment, whatever you need to do. Um, share it if you think it'll help somebody else. And y'all have a wonderful week, okay? Bye.